check this map out. The Navy and others took core samples to find the ages of the sea bottom. Lo and behold, no part of the undersea was found to be much older than 70 million years old. Does that shock you? It should. It shocked the scientists. Where do they get ancient fish fossils from? From the land, like in Mississippi and Utah and France and China. Most of the undersea wasn't there 70 or 80 million years ago. The measurements of the core samples give the age of the sea floor. Newest, 10 million or so is red. As we go back in time, we go backward in our rainbow, orange, yellow, green, blue, okay? So we bury the new sea floor back to the fault lines as dictated by color or age. 10 million years back, these are the ages of the seafloor as measured by science, and they're generally true. Earth grew. 20 million. I'm not making this information up. This map comes from the scientific community. 30 million. You can find the same map in many places on the internet. It's common knowledge. 40. The ocean bottom is from one year to 180 million years old. 50. 70% of it is no older than 60 million years old. 60. The upper plate, the continents, are as old as 2 billion years old and more. 70. 10 to 20 times as old as the undersea plates. The undersea plate is new and spreading at the rifts. Why does the scientific community desperately cling to and promote the idea that the ocean bottom is sliding under the continents and into a magma which is twice as dense as solid granite? A totally unsupportable and scientifically unsound idea? They have to. Or else they'd have to observe and admit that the Earth is growing. And that, viewers, is a very big deal. That would change everything in science, from the smallest particle to the whole universe. 100 years of scientific theory out the window. That's a lot to give up. It's important to remember that science and the universe should and must be easier to understand as we go back in the universe's evolution. A lot of mistakes were made to get us to our current mishmash of things. And the truth cannot be this jumble of confused theories. It must be clear and make common sense. Of course, I use the term mishmash here in the technical sense.